And I might be taking some days off for the move, just so y'all know. I'm warning you ahead of time. Might be some best of. We're gonna do uh, what? What would you do? We got the news, and uh, I think that's that'll that'll do it for today. Don't you go anywhere. It is the All Out Show. Let's go. You're listening to the All Out Show with you. Hey there. How you doing? Going through a thing? Having some problems? Need to talk to someone? Well, lucky for you, there's me. I am here to help you. Yep. I'm like a therapist that didn't go to school to be a therapist. I'm a life coach. I'll coach your life. Having guy problems? Call me up. I'm a dude. Girl problems? I've had my fair share of women. Parent problems? I am one and have some. So that makes me pretty good at that too. Work problems? I've been at the same job since for fucking ever. So I've seen it all. Call up right now, 888-742-3345, 888-742-3345. Talk to me, Judy. I'll keep it 100. Your friends will not. They want to be your friends. I don't care about being your friend. I'm just going to give it to you real. That's what you want. That's what you need. 888-742-3345. That's what would you do? It's coming up next. You're listening to the All Out Show with you. You, 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 you. It's like a ray of light beaming down knowledge from the heavens above. <laughs> what would you do? Oh. You need advice? Call us up right now. <laughs> now. It ain't ain't shade 45. What would you do? Oh, shade, shade, shade 45. Shade 4 fifth is what would you do? You got a problem? Call me up right now. 888-742-3345. 888-742-3345. You got Sophia in Oakland. Sophia, what's your problem? Hi, dude. Hello. So, I have a side nigga, and last night I was like, we were hella drunk, and I accidentally called him my main nigga's name. And he really want to be my boyfriend, but I don't want to leave my main nigga because he, like, you know, he takes care of home. Like, he takes care of everything, but he be doing his thing or whatever. So, I don't know what to... Oh, then I text him, and I was like, Oh, it's because he's my ex or whatever, and it was just like out of like habit. All right, and... so wait, hold on, stop, stop, stop. So the side dude doesn't know that you're seeing another guy. Yeah, he doesn't know. He thinks he's the main guy. Oh. <laughs> huh. Well, you're yeah. All right, you didn't. You, that's you're lying. That was a big problem with this. What? I don't understand. Why don't you get you a side dude that's okay with fucking you on the side? Cause nobody's cool with that. Like, yes, they are. You just you're you know? attracted. You're attracted to fucking bitch made dudes. They're, <laughs> they're like, oh no, I need you all to myself. I don't want to share none of this. I don't want to no. share none of that good, good. Yeah, that's exactly it. They be acting crazy. Yeah, but that's like, not I every dude is like that, Sophia. I like I um, I would be totally fine just having you come over once every fucking ten days and I fuck you. <laughs> And send you away. You... So what's up? You gonna give me your real number then? Yeah, c- yeah. Come on through. You sound cute, little motherfucker. Uh, I'll even put one in you, and you, we can have the other guy raise the kid. He'd be like, "Why does the kid got a, <laughs> oh why does the kid got a big nose and blue eyes? I don't know. I don't know. It's on my grandma's side. Just say that it's on my grandma's side. Look, man. <laughs> All right. So you're so. You, it sounds so, like it sounds like you I, handled this right. So, how did okay, but no, he don't believe me about the uh, you know, about that was my main nigga, like well that it was like an ex, he don't believe me. So I don't know if to like make up with him or just, you know, like let him go. He's your side dude anyway. And get the No, ne- he's crazy though. He's like he's crazy. Like and my main nigga's crazy. Like I have yeah. they live in separate parts of Oakland. I have to keep them like apart. I understand that. But moving forward, you really it's not that hard to be like, Yeah, I got a, I got a man. But, you know, if you wanna do some shit every now and again we can do that. You hear that? So I should, so I should just be honest. I don't know if you should be honest with this fucking dude. 
<laughs> he might fucking rough you up. It sounds like uh, he sounds like he's a little emotional. Yeah, he's a cancer. They are emotional. Yo, dude, them cancer dudes. Like, I hate to get all fucking, I hate to get all, like, uh, horoscopical, but uh, the cancer dudes is a little bitch made in, in a lot of ways. It's sensitive <laughs> at times. Yeah, I agree, I agree. Yes. Yeah, the sex is good yeah, all the time. Because he's sensitive, too. He probably cries when he comes. <laughs> 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 What's wrong? I don't know. It's just beautiful. <laughs> The way the ass was rippling, man. It should look like the ocean. It got me thinking about my grandma. <laughs> she loved boats. Um, look, uh, are, are you trying to keep this going with this dude or what? I mean. Yes. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, just keep yeah, up I the lie. Keep, keep up the lie. He's going to, he'll, he'll make himself believe it after a while. He'll never trust so, you. And he shouldn't, because you're a lying ass. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Motherfucker, you are lying. Don't act like you're not lying. All you doing is lying. Just keep up the lie. It's we, <laughs> we tell ourselves lies so that we can justify the dumb things that we do. So you just keep up the lie. Never admit to it. And uh, let this one blow up in about three months. <laughs> when he fucking follows you to wherever one of these nights. Oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, well, thank you. Yeah, and, and get that shit off your phone where you can unlock it with your thumbprint because he's going to catch you one of these days. Oh, no, I got the code. I definitely right. don't got the thumbprint. Yeah, don't, yeah, don't have that shit. He'll fuck you real good, put you to sleep, and just, just fucking put that little thumb on there. Start going through your messages. <laughs> put it on airplane mode when you see him. That's all I'm saying. Oh, for sure, yeah. All right, Sophia, you sound like you got good pussy, um, but not good enough for me to fucking not want to share. I don't give a fuck. All right, have fun. Hey. That's Sophia you, right there. All right, let's get this shit going. 888-742-3345. 888-742-3345. Uh, Jesse in San Diego. Jesse. Hey, how's it going? Fucking good. Yeah. You got a head cold yeah. or something? Because I got a head cold. Yes, I do. Yeah, you sound fine. Fighting it for days. I do, yeah. But I got a problem. <clears throat> I had a, I went right into about, I uh, was just hitting about a year relationship with my girl and found out she'd been lying to me over and over about a lot of stuff. Like what? She, give me give me a couple uh, things she lied to you about. Well, she, the bad stuff was that <clears throat> she told me, like, she had like a, she had like an eating disorder relapse or something. She was trying to hide that from me, and then I it mean, turned into a it turned into a kidnapping story. Whoa! Like where, I was where gonna, she lied. What kidnapping? Yeah. She told me. She told me and police that she was kidnapped by who? By random ass people like that didn't exist, and the police fucking caught her on it. And I had to dig deep as fuck to pull that shit out and find out that like. <clears throat> The police basically told her that she was crazy, and none of that stuff actually happened. Her pussy so must be her pussy must be dynamite, huh? She got some bomb G's. <laughs> but she's like, she's already like getting into outpatient programs and already in therapy, all that kind of stuff. And what was her eating disorder? Uh, bulimia. All right, so that's a waste of money. Yeah. Just got to be fucking annoying. You buy her dinner, she won't even shit it out. <laughs> Actually, she was doing a lot better. That's the reason why she was hiding the relapse. Well, 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 I'm over here stuttering. What made her want to fucking say she got kidnapped? Where the fuck did that come from? She has no concept of reality when Jesse. stuff happens and she just gets stuck in a lie. I don't, but... Do you understand how I'm trying to? I'm having a really hard time seeing how it went from like, so the bulimia and the kidnap had two different. Would just have nothing to do with one another. Yeah, no. The oh, okay. All right. Look, man. What she, do you? She buddy. called. She got. She lo got lost somewhere, and her friend called the cops. And then when she found out the cops were involved, she panicked and said that she was kidnapped to, to cover it up, which is doesn't what? make sense. Totally stupid. Jesse, how old are you? 21. And this is your, like, main girlfriend? Like, you're you're faithful to this girl? I was for a year, yeah. 
you dumb than a motherfucker, bro. Like that's like this is like supposed to, that's supposed to be like, hey, you go fuck crazy Carrie this weekend. You know what I mean? Like you go to her house, fuck there, don't let her in, no, let her around none of your shit. Leave anything she can steal in the car. Fuck her with yeah, your shoes no. on in case you got to run. <laughs> like what are you doing? I guess I'm not making smart decisions. She's a loony, bro. She's she's out her fucking hookup. Yeah. And like, look, man, it sounds like it's the upside is it sounds like she's not abusive towards you, but yo, dude, if she's lying on kidnapping, she might lie on other things that include you that get you in a sticky oh, situation. Yeah. yeah. That's that like shit like that Mark Wahlberg movie where she he just start punching himself in the chest and say that the dude beat him up. Like she might do some wild shit like that. That's true. I don't know what she would do, but that's the problem. You don't know what she yeah. would do. She's just trying. She's saying that like she wants. She's in all these programs now, and you know she's proving it to me. But it's what because she's I'm, somewhere making fucking leather wallets. You know what I mean? Like whatever. No, nah, dude. Yeah. No, she's in a wood. She's she's gonna come out with a fucking a birdhouse that she made, and like I'm not crazy anymore. Certificate, nah, dog. <laughs> nah, man. Catch her and cat. No, dude, Jesse, don't do it, man. You don't trust her. Relationships are built on trust. And her yeah, fucking. That's what I always told her. What would you always tell her? Relationships are built on trust. <laughs> Look, man, I I under, I can understand a woman lying about fucking being bulimic. That's nothing that you really want to fucking share with everybody. Yeah, absolutely. I get that. I I I can wrap my head around that. But the fucking kidnapping, dude. That's yeah. And now she's you. an outpatient treatment. Like, yo, dude, what are you? This is what this this is what you're gonna put your chips on right here. This is the one. This is the chick you're betting on. You want to have kids with this fucking, this chick. Yeah, that's probably, that's probably not. Some little wackadoos running around fucking, fucking biting I others, guess. biting people in kindergarten. Like, no, you know, like, you can't do that, man. Yeah, no, I guess that's, they just need to hear from somebody sometimes, you know. You're in that relationship for a long time and that's all you know. So I'm like, <laughs> yeah. All you know is crazy, and that shit ain't right. So walk away. Jog. True. All right, buddy. Good luck. Ben in South Carolina. What's up? What up, though, man? What's your problem? Hey, man. Um, I got a side chick that's pregnant now that my main chick don't know about, and like she want me to leave the main chick for her, but I got three kids by the main chick. How pregnant is she? She had the baby a month ago. Oh, she ain't pregnant. She got a kid. Oh, well, yeah, she got a kid. Well, she don't got a kid. You got a kid. Well, yeah. And the main chick still don't know yet, and she's like, you know, she's threatening to damn tell the main chick if I just don't drop her and shit. But, like, I ain't ready to do that. Me and the main chick been together for 11 years now. The times got rough, and uh, I, I dipped in the pudding somewhere else, and, uh, yeah, it got me in this shit. You went and dipped in the pudding. <laughs> I hope I hope that pudding was worth it. Uh, it was it was worth it every day for about three months straight. You went raw in the pudding. <laughs> it ain't worth it no more. No, nah, at the bro. time it was. Look, man, she's finna she's finna tell, bro. So you might as well get ahead of this. All right. Or or just keep let her keep threatening you. And then once she tells, I mean, I, and, I, and, clean. and the thing is, is, I'm still getting it too every morning. You still fucking the side chick? Yeah. What are you doing, Ben? I don't know. That's uh, I don't know, man. It's a fucked up situation. You're Can't a fucking stop. idiot. It, it, what? You're an idiot, bro. <laughs> Listen to you, Jesus Christ! And you made there's four mini yous running around. That's just what we need. Jesus Christ, <laughs> Ben. You still fucking your side chick. She's got a fucking baby. You got three kids with the other girl. How how do you think she, how do you think this other your how do you think your main chick will react? Is this your wife? Yes. How do you think your wife will react to you fucking having a another child with another woman? I don't know, bro. 
Give me an it's idea. Kinda hard to, it's hard Give to me say. an idea. Uh, Speculate. Off the fucking walls, man. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna know if I, I might not even make it if I tell it. Yeah, you might not even make it. But like, she ain't crazy or nothing. But uh, she she damn sure ain't scared to fuck me up either. If she got to. Nah, you have to sleep in another room. Put a lock on that door. <laughs> God damn, dog. But yeah, dude, I'm just kind of wondering what you what you would do. Man, I don't know if I'd gotten this far. You know what I mean? Like you're you're really you're pretty far down the dumbass fucking highway. Uh, let me. It, I know it sounds crazy, but maybe fucking her keeps her at bay. Tell her if she tells your wife that you won't be with either one of them. All right. Tell her if see she, that, if she see keep, how that plays out. Stay fucking her if she keeps bringing up. Be like, look, what's her name? Brittany. Look, Brittany, of course. Look, Brittany. <laughs> I'm going to do your accent. Look look at here, Brittany. You tell my wife I'm not going to give you no more of this dick. And then where are you going to be? You know what I mean? Hit her with a, hit her with a, a threat. All right. Well, and, you know, it throws another wrench and everything. Cause she's got two kids by her previous husband. Well, it was her husband at the time until he found out about us. How did he find out? She told him? Uh, well, he wanted to know how she was pregnant for one because they wasn't fucking. She's a dumb broad. She wasn't even smart enough to fuck him a couple times when she knew she was pregnant. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, that's man, y'all just too. man, y'all some idiots down there, man. What are y'all doing? <laughs> she don't want to be with him. She want to be with you, and she hit the fucking side chick lotto by fucking getting pregnant, and now she's just waiting for you, waiting for the, your other relationship to blow up. All right. And she might Dude, blow it I up on her I appreciate it, man. I don't know. I appreciate it. Love you guys, man. Love hearing y'all. Love y'all shit y'all play on the radio, man. You're going to be Thanks, working man. extra hard. Yeah, keep listening. You're going to be working extra hard to pay for all them fucking kids, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking guy. Thanks, bro. Peace. I don't think I gave him any advice. All right, let's play, let's play a song. Come back. 888-742-3345. 888-742-3345 is what would you do? You're listening to the All Out Show with you. Call up right now, 888-742-3345. 888-742-3345. Uh, wow, we got a lot of good ones. We got a lot of good ones. Let's start with uh, Tara. Or is it Tara? How you say it? Tara. All right, Tara, what's your problem? Okay, well, I... That was girl and she is a straight girl i'm obviously not i'm gay and she wanted to start sleeping around and i was all right cool let's do it and then now she's talking about leaving her boyfriend for me that is not something i am wanting to happen well tell her i don't know if i should just cut her off or or... well yeah just tell be like look you letting her stay the night or anything like that or what well, I go over to her place, and she had me stay the night the other night. What? Look, see, this is the problem, man. You you blurring boundaries. Okay. You over here cuddling with these fucking hoes. What do you think's gonna happen? Yeah. You give you giving them the girlfriend experience, and then be like, "Oh, I don't want to be your girlfriend," and then they, it breaks their brain. Okay. What? What do you think? She's gay or just codependent? I think she's gay because she's right, been so, thinking about it for a while. Yeah, and you can tell you right. You can tell you can tell when someone's gay or when someone when you're flipping someone. Can can you tell that? Do you got a good eyeball for that? So this chick seems like she's gay. Yes. So why don't you hit her with, with this? Be like, look, don't leave your man for me. I don't want you to be my girlfriend. It's it puts a bit of pressure on me, but I do think you're gay. So okay. do whatever, do, do whatever that, do, do with that what you want. Okay. But All just right. know, just know I'm not going to be your girl. I'm not going to be there for you the way you're going to need me to be there for you once you break up with your man. Just know that. Okay. Be All extremely right. clear with her. Don't, don't give her any wiggle room to try to guilt you into anything or fucking start, you know, oh, he, oh, you know. I, it was going to be like this, but you, you know, but you treated me like, nah, you know what this was. Okay. All right, I appreciate it. Keep wrecking homes, Tara. 
I'm on it. Just yeah. out here for the culture, turning one bitch gay at a time. It sounds like she was already there, man. Uh, and it was, it was probably something you. Something it was probably something. Realize. Yes, it was probably something that needed to happen. There you go. Congratulations. Helping him realize one girl at a time. That's right. And then you know, uh, Brianna in Atlanta. Um. Hey, dude. How are you? I'm good. Um, what is? What's your problem? Pretty much. I've been dating this guy for on and off again for about three years now. And it's pretty much the same shit that's going on. We just started dating again um, about four months ago. So I want to know. I want to go on, like, dates and shit. All we do is fuck, watch movies, eat, Uber Eats, Grubhub, all that shit. And I'm bored and tired of it. So I want to know. I haven't talked to him in about two weeks um, because I brought it up that I want to go out. And the only time he wants to go out is if he feels like I'm being mad at him about the situation or whatever. So now we haven't spoken in two weeks after I brought it up. And I don't know if I need to hit him up or just be like, what the fuck ever and move on. Look, it sounds to me like he's a lot. I'm sorry. It just sounds like let's be real. Like it sounds like he you it sounds like you two have different interests. But he's the one that dropped the L word on me first and yeah. he hit me up first. It's just okay. he's the one that's pursuing yeah. me. So Yeah, I know he's pursuing you and he, he yo, he doesn't want to go out anymore. That's not that's not what you're into. You you want somebody that's a bit more social, that's a bit more extroverted. Mm-hmm. And he's boring. Very yeah. boring. Here's the upside. He probably might. He he might. He'll probably be less likely to cheat on you. He he might be more likely, or I don't know. Who the fuck knows? Maybe he will. Maybe he'll be getting some Facebook relationship. Well, I, don't I don't fucking know. Don't yeah, I was gonna say. Look, anyone. but if he's in the crib, he's got less chance to fucking pick up somebody out. Uh, uh, and he's maybe, so perfect. Like we do every. Like the sex is amazing. His head is amazing. He dresses nice. Like. He's perfect for me. The conversation is there. I can talk to him about everything, but we don't do shit, and I'm tired of it. Could you do, could you, why, all right, then what about once a week? Like going out once, I don't even have to go out once a week, but we can go out sometimes, hell, once why, a week a month is better look, than what I'm yeah, doing. Brianna, you need to give him some guidelines. <laughs> You just didn't, I, I, I gave a specific what you needed, and you said, I don't even know whatever, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. so even that sounds like you're not being clear. So you need to give this motherfucker a clear, like, this is what I need from you. Look, I, I really want to go out. It, I just want to go out with you. It's important to me. I know you don't like going out, but just can you, can you plan something once every two weeks that you and I go do? Okay, yeah. And he either he can do it or he can't do it. Like if if that's all you need, it doesn't sound like you're being that fucking difficult. That's what I'm saying. It's not like I'm pulling asking you to pull teeth. Like it's just let's go on a few dates here and there. And I'm at the point now. My, like, I'm very prideful. So being that I haven't talked to him in like weeks and he hasn't like hit me up or anything, I'm like fuck it, hell, I'll move on to the next motherfucker. Look, you, you probably nagged the shit out of him, and he's probably happy to not hear from you for a while. <laughs> I'm not a nagger, but probably, you're right. I'll, look, okay, I'll I, hit him up this week. Yeah, look, man, just talk to him. Be like, look, man, like, clearly you and I are not on the same page. Let me know if you can do this. If you can, let's continue. If not, understand, and I'm a, I'll am go. You don't need to be like you got bomb head or anything like that. That just yeah. leave that off the table. Just fucking, hey man, like, can can you do this? Can you make an effort to do this? I just feel like we're too old for this shit. But yeah, how old are you? Was, how old are you? I'm 25. You're not too old for this shit. You a fucking baby. This is some middle school shit. People in middle school go on movie dates and out to dinner and shit. I shouldn't have to tell a grown ass man. Look, what you should have to do and what you shouldn't have to do is besides the fucking point. The point is that if you want your needs met, you have to communicate your needs. Because right now he's getting his needs met. He's hanging out with you in the fucking house and getting pussy. That's exactly what he wants, right? Yep. Look, look how, yep. listen how bitter you sound. And you know why? Because you're not being, because you're not fucking telling him, man. You got to be like, look. How? Look, I want to go out. I want to do this. Let's go see a movie. Let's do anything. We got to do this once every two weeks. Every other, every other Friday. Put a fucking, hold his feet to the fucking fire. 
You're right. And if, You're and right. if he doesn't do it, then fucking, then Fuck yo. You're right. Or if he's doing it and he fucking hates doing it, then like maybe you guys aren't, you know, like I don't know, okay. like you're 25. It's not like it's not like. If you were 57, I'd be like, eh, I don't know, man. You, you know, or you know what I mean, like yo. Actually, at any age. <sighs> you're right. I appreciate you know, it. Thank you, you so much. You <laughs> communicate. This, this the biggest, the biggest, the biggest uh, mistake a lot of people make in relationships. I'm just is saying he should know that she should know that. Like you are 100 percent correct. You have to communicate your needs because you got to understand that everybody's not coming from the same place as you. Just communicate what you want from this dude. And if he's if he's like fuck you, then you know you know the answer. Fuck me. All right. Do I keep You're going right. or not? You know what I mean? All right. Good You're luck right. to you. Thank good you. Good luck. Let me know how that works out, too. <sighs> Man, there's so much good shit here. All right. Uh, uh, let's go to April in Denver. April. I'm wondering, how do you make your man be a little bit more submissive in the bedroom? My, my fellow's very, like, dominant, and I like that, but at the same time, sometimes I want to, like, rip like reverse that role and he doesn't really want to do that so I don't know how you kind of like get get him to relax a little bit what do you what are you trying to do with your man you know I want to be able to tie him up and just take away some of the control that he has and it makes him uncomfortable to be in that that kind of position a little bit how long y'all been together for seven years oh I know. All right. So you were talking to somebody that feels uncomfortable with this shit. Myself, like yeah, he's he, got control he issues. Doesn't like it. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah he's got control like issues. Yeah. You know. What? Um, no. I'm, just, I'm, just do it. Let it go. Like you barely would. You're not trying to look. He doesn't want to do it anymore. You're not trying to like. Uh, you're not trying to buff fuck him or no shit like that, right? No. <laughs> no. No. All right. Good. Okay. All right. Does he know that? Does he know that you're not trying to butt yeah. fuck him? Yes, but at the same time, I'm a little bit aggressive myself, so I think he's um, a little bit afraid of what might happen if he doesn't have the option to release himself, because just naturally, I'm a little bit of a of aggressive person. So you might buttfuck this motherfucker, is what you're no, telling me? No, no. Okay, all no, right. Then. No, he's just sensitive, okay. you know, it's really ticklish, I don't know. So why don't you set up some ground rules? Well, like, what's the big ground rule? I don't know. I don't know. Like, look, I promise I won't do this. I won't do that. I won't do this. See the things that he's concerned about. Address his concerns. And then... Can you start with, your, like, maybe one hand, one foot? Some Black shit like card. that. That's perfect. Yeah, you know. Mm-hmm. Or blindfolded. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, hands-free blindfolded might be a good one, where you take away his sight. And then he can... You, what you, you have to treat him like a feral animal. And he won't choke me, so then I don't... He won't like, choke you? Yes. Why won't he choke you? Because he feels like it's, like, um, like too aggressive. Like, that's, like, an angry act. You know, like... Jesus men Christ, this women. What, Did he grow up, like, in a weird household or some shit? No. I'm just curious, like... I mean, no. Is, you can exp- his can you exp- father died when he was... Younger yeah. and just a mother. But yeah. Look at him. Now look normal. at him. He's like, father died when he was younger, and then he had to be the man in the house. He probably doesn't want to put hands on ladies or no shit like that. Uh, ba 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 ba. This one's gonna take a while, but like, start working on it. And look, this is baby steps. The, I don't know how the baby steps it though. It's like it's not. Didn't I, I just gave you a couple ideas. It starts with conversations. This is like a year or two. Like, this is going to take a year. I want you to think about it like this. A girl goes to work. A girl A girl okay, tries okay, to get it. A... We've been having a lot of conversations. Like, we've been okay. together for seven years. I know you so, have. Like, we talked about it a lot. And I, it's like, I don't know. I don't know how to, like, move past the talking about it. All right, so you be like, let's try. Will you do this just this one night? Let me blindfold you. 
Will you do it just this one night? Let me tie one of your, just one of your hands, just just so I could. It'll turn me on. And fake an okay. orgasm or two. So he, it's like, wow, this is uh, that damn. It's okay. awesome. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay. you dig what I'm saying? Like, oh, this is awesome. Oh, this is so great. I'm um, so okay. turned on. It'll be it'll be extra great if your pussy got really wet off of that shit. You know, what I mean? like, wow, like that's a positive reinforcement of him doing what you want him to do. Okay. All right. Uh, Just give him a look, Just give him a treat. Yeah, and d- nudge slowly, slowly, slowly. Look at look at I. This is gonna get dark, but look at us as Americans. Do you think like a uh, hundred years ago, if someone said that you're gonna we're gonna take uh, fucking thirty percent of your money that you make and then t- tap your phones. You think they'd be cool with that shit? Uh, no, it just you just nudge us into fucking. Next thing you know, you're you're you you're, you've accepted a bunch of bullshit. You see, you just get him one little nudge at a time, at a time, at a time. Next thing you know, he's gonna be well, fucking. I'm a libertarian, cuff- so I'm not nudged. I'm a libertarian. I'm not nudged. Okay. All right, but just I, I but you you understand what I'm saying though, right? Just I just do, I do. baby step his way into some fucking handcuffs. You're, d- d- okay. And uh and then as far as the auto as far as the choke out shit, show him show him the science behind it. Literally show them the science behind it. Be like, this isn't violent, even if it is for you. Even if you do like getting roughed up, you do like that idea of it. Show them the science behind it. Be like, by you cutting off air to this, it stimulates that, therefore making this feel better. Like, sh- okay. show them a fucking, sh- show them the science. science. It's science, man. That is it is. Science. And yo, God bless you that like you're, you know, that you're, have you stepped out on them or anything like that or not? No. No. Yeah. All right, look at, look at, yeah, I used to fuck with a girl where, you know, like, her man wouldn't choke him, choke her, so guess what, I, guess, guess who would choke her? I would. I would wring her neck and send her home. <laughs> that's, all, that's, that's also and fantastic, all the one thing. Yes, uh, yeah, so, hey. <laughs> Thank you for the voice. Baby step his way into that shit. <laughs> He, he's like a little just box with a stick and like some chocolate underneath. Look, and then we'd go look, the chocolate, close I'm gonna, t- I'm gonna tell you something. Like as a dude, like I, w- I would not feel comfortable with that. And part of it would be I would be afraid, and I have intimacy issues, and I'm afraid of that shit. So just that's how my brain is working. So keep keep that in mind when you're dealing with him. He's probably got control issues, intimacy issues, trust issues, and is afraid. So you have to, you can't strong arm his way into that shit. You have to make him feel like he's making these choices. Okay, so don't punch him and then make him choke me. And <laughs> All of these and things. Then... Exactly, April. Exactly. <laughs> Fucking, exactly. All right, let's, uh, play, let's play a song or two. 888-742-3345 is What Would You Do? You're listening to the All Out Show with you. J45, 888-742-3345. Jimmy in Tennessee, what's your problem? Man, what's going on, brother? Chilling, bro. What up? Uh, uh, man, I'm chilling, man. I, I got this problem, man. Um, I got this uh, this job that I started, like, way back in January. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm on the road a lot because I'm a truck driver. Uh, me and my girl, you know, and, my, and the rest of my family. You know, at first we were all, uh, like, like, like not getting adjusted to me being out on the road and everything like that. And we still not, I mean, like, yo, my girl, she kind of has these mixed feelings about me being out on the road. You know, I definitely love my, my girl to death. Like, you know, I would do anything for her, but I'm all about that money though. I'm still trying to make that money so that like I can secure the bag. And then like later on we can do what we got to do, you know, but for right now, I'm hoping that she would understand and that my family would understand that, you know what I'm saying, I'm trying to make that money. So help me out. What should I do, you know? You got to sit her down and tell her the plan and need her, get her to be on your side. Right, right. I definitely told her the plan, though. Like, I always laid it out. Like, you know, like, this this is what we're going to do. You, you got some kids saying? with her? Huh? You got kids with her, you said, too? No, no. Oh. I don't have no kids with her, no. Oh. No, no one well, at look, all. Man. Like, we we haven't even established like family ties yet, but well, I, look, all right, then you're gonna have you need to check this fuck you need to check this behavior real fast. 
Right. Because this is your job. This is your money. This is your livelihood. If she can't accept what the fuck you're doing, then she's going right. to give you agita. She's going to fucking agitate you. Like, right. you're going to have to, she's going to have to chill the fuck out. And if she doesn't like it, you're like, look, man, this is what it is. This is what I do. Like, this is what I can offer. This is the plan. I can't have you complaining all the damn time. Like, it stresses me out. So, like, you know, it's not going right. to change anytime soon. So you can either, like, get on board or we go our separate ways. Right, right. And I tell her, like, this ain't forever. Like, you know, I don't want to be at this position forever. Like, I want a job where I can stay at home. But I definitely want to, you know, establish some things. You know what I'm saying? No, I feel, make, hey, make look. Us- I get you. I've 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 had I've had girls that didn't like didn't like that I that I do this type of work on the radio and I talk grimy and I'm fucking wild as fuck. But they love they love going out to dinner, you know. Right. They love right. they love they love what it gets them. So right. like you just you gotta lay that shit down, and maybe yeah. maybe you, should, who, you and you might have to wrap your head around the fact that like maybe she ain't for you. If she if she can't accept it, right? We need to quit your job so that to keep her, right? And then what type of person would want you to quit their job to keep them? How often you get to see her? Oh, I get to see her like uh, maybe like four days out of the month, something like that. All right, so it's not that often. So you see her like yeah, once a week or some shit. Yeah, some shit like that. You know. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, it's tough, but. Like, you know, I'm doing it for us. You feel me? So All right. I just want her to understand, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's a tough one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But I appreciate it, bro. All right, man. Keep your head up. Let's go uh, Matt in Arizona. Matt. What up, dude? Yo. What's the problem? So I got I got a question, man. Been with this girl for about a year. We have a baby. We just had a baby. Um, I found some pills, some, and I looked them up because there, no, there was no prescription. <laughs> And they're herpes pills, pills for fucking herpes. So I look them up, and I found that out, and she's denying it. So I called the pharmacy. She has refills on this. So I'm like, who the fuck gave you herpes? Because I ain't had no fucking herpes. She could have been had them bitches. Yeah, she's, but she's denying it. I mean, uh, so I don't know. Yeah, so that makes you not trust her. Yes. Did you tell her that you called the pharmacy? Oh, hell yeah, I did. And she's still denying it? She's still denying it. Man, you nutted in a shady bitch. <laughs> no shit. God damn, dog. You had her dead to rights. Like, you got you got her dead, and that? she still denied, denied, denied. Yeah, I wouldn't trust her. Hell no, huh? Yeah, I don't know how you I don't know how you rectify this situation. I don't. This you got me stumped here. She, it's like, you, you got a kid with her too. And she's, uh, her mom is saying, well, there's other uses for those pills, so it's not. It's probably not herpes, but those pills help other shit. So it well, might have been something else. They have other. Uses she ain't got no. Really. She ain't. But she ain't giving you no other. She ain't giving you no. She ain't even giving you <laughs> that shit. to put your fucking uh, lay your head on. Like she ain't giving you no. She, She's not even giving you another bullshit lie that you can believe to to keep on going in the relationship. She's just telling you, nah, it didn't happen when it did. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so chances are she did. uh, Either she been had him or she cheated and got him. True, true. Those are your two. What do you think it is? What's your gut tell you? It could be both. (laughs) Who knows? How long you been with her for? I've been a year. Damn, you nutted in her quick. (laughs) <laughs> Your pullout game's whack as fuck, son. Oh, fucked up. <laughs> With the herpes. She locked you down, bro. All right, 888 3345 Uh Ray and Whittier. What's up, what's up, dude? What's your problem? My family's going through some shit right now. 
got a daughter, 12 year old daughter that's called CPS on us three times. And, uh, she's basically saying that we're abusing her, but they're all fucking lies, bro. So, whoa, just don't know what to do. So, that's crazy. Advice. Have you have you talked to her in like a moment of? Does she understand what's yeah, gonna happen? Like if she gets taken away from you? I don't. I do, and you know what? She's she's my she's my wife's daughter. You know what I mean? I've been in her life since she was four. But um, I feel like she just doesn't want to live with us, and she just wants to be somewhere else. Maybe be with a, her biological dad. So. Well, I just she, don't know what to do, man. She's a liar too. She lied to the to the social work, the uh, CPS people. She's lied to detectives and everything just to keep her story straight. And we got a my wife and I got a nine month nine month old boy, yeah, who's being thrown in the mix. So every time a CPS worker comes by, we have to show our nine month old to the CPS worker. Make sure so that they make this know that awful. fucking we're not abusing him. Man, what what so a manipulative, mix, what a you know manipulative what I mean? little asshole child! Jesus Christ! Well, I yeah, would encourage, I, I would encourage, saying. I would encourage uh, you to encourage your wife to get her, go have have her stay with her dad, man. Like if she if she don't want to be there that bad, like get her the fuck. Yeah, I don't know, man. Don't know that this She's, is this, right now. And her dad's not hasn't been in her life this whole time, so she's he, been he searching for him. He don't want her neither, huh? Damn. Nah, she don't want her. She don't want her. That's fucking crazy. And I'm 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 got I got into that point. My wife and I have been together for for eight eight years and got into that point where it's like do I wanna jeopardize, you know, our son? It's like should we just give her up? Should we give her up just to save her son? put her through you know foster care or whatnot but that's the interesting like i don't i don't know how this i don't know how that works with cps man like i i will talk to a lawyer dog like for real yeah like i don't know how that works because yeah. yeah. you you don't want you don't want her keep her continuing calling about that shit to affect your relationship with act, your the something your actual son so holler at a lawyer yeah. and see what 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 the proper steps there are to do like that that's what you need to do man that's fucked up man that chick is a fucking kid kids are fucking crazy nowadays man all right josh and san fran yo what's up what up man what's your problem yo so i got this girl and uh we were gonna hook up for a while and she tells me uh she got herpes right and i'm like all right whatever i just won't you know go down there and so we end up hooking up, whatever, and she, she's blowing me and all this stuff. And then we're about to be finished, and she's like, you want to eat me out? And I'm like, no, nah, I ain't trying to get herpes. Like, that's, that's pretty bad. That's a pretty one-way street. And she gets mad as shit. She gets up, walks through the rest of my house naked in front of all my, like, male housemates, and walks through the bathroom naked, comes back naked, and then uh, doesn't talk to me the rest of the night. And... Now I signed a lease. I'm supposed to live with this chick in a house for this next year. And what? It's going to be crazy. When did you sign the lease with her? I signed the lease with her before I knew that uh, she had herpes. So Wait, she told, you after, she told you after you signed a lease with her that she had herpes? Yeah. We, she told me before we hooked up, which was after we uh, signed the lease. Oh, brother. Jesus Christ. Yeah, she's, she's bad, man. She's bad. All right, man. Well, I don't. You know, like you can still get herpes if you fuck her. Like, yeah. I mean, I, I use a condom though, so I think I'm good there. But I think eating her out's really kind of a fucking one way street, right? To getting herpes pretty quick. I don't know. I, you know, if she's got a breakout, it's possible to get it both ways, or shit. Even if she doesn't. You dumb she's as hell. She's cool as shit. I mean, she's she's cute. You know, she's cool as shit. I, I but this kind of yeah, she sounds great. Really fucks it up. She sounds awesome. Yeah, it is all. Yeah, the love yeah. of my life, man. Fucking yeah, have fun with that for the next year. Let's go to Ty in Dallas. Ty. 
Yo, what up, Jude? What's happening, man? Hey, real quick, that guy just talked about the herpes situation, man. He's tripping. Herpes ain't nothing, man. Just, just, just deal with it. If he loves you, go with it, man. Come on. So, sorry, I'll get to my story. I just had to put that out there. Uh, my problem is, Jude, I had a girl hit me up about a post on the dirty. She's threatened to take legal action against me about this post. And whether it's true or not is besides the point. And I just don't know what to do because she's threatened. If you don't take it down, I'll expose you, this and that. I'll take legal action. I'll have somebody come beat your ass, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, uh, first of all, bitch, you realize the First Amendment doesn't, you know, you can, you can post whatever the fuck you want basically on that site. So my question to you, what would you really do in this situation? Can something really happen? I don't know. Wait, what's the dirty? I don't even know what the fuck the dirty is. What is that? that? It's that, that Nick Ritchie, you know, it's like basically you just post, you know, just post some dirt about somebody, but the dirt I posted was, you know, was true, or that was posted was was true. So let's see. The, he's threatened to take, you know, threatened to take legal action against me. If you can, you can look it up. You know, it's all on the internet. Laura Cardenas makes her money by working at the lodge and convincing her clients she needs money for school. At the same time, she'll real guys in and have a thinking they have a chance with her and use them. So she just be finessing motherfuckers. Oh yeah, like a motherfucker, man. You know she. How much she, she gets you she for? To get, well, no, she uh, she just got me for a long ass time, bro. A couple thousand dollars. So you All know, right. it was just a, my time was wasted. It was much more important. But you know, she tried to finesse me back in and uh, try to be my friend. Oh, will you take this down, please? And blah blah blah. I'll be your friend again. Shit like that. So, and like, what would you do? Would you would you buy into it, or would you just be like, "Fuck this shit"? I don't know. I don't know the legalities of it, bro. Like, I don't. I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what. Yeah. I don't know what. I don't know what the legal shit ramifications are. Um, I would talk to somebody that knows. If she's talking lawsuits, I would just talk to somebody that knows what you can yeah. can't be sued I just, for. I just didn't know, but it's, just, it's still fucked up. I'm just like, damn, what? you know? It's still up there right now as we speak. I'm looking at it. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, it is. <laughs> She's cute. She's a piece oh, yeah. of shit. Yeah, she definitely, she definitely bad. I'm not going to lie. So, yeah, she got she was, I mean, that, that a couple was, racks out yeah. of you. Oh, yeah, she definitely got a couple racks. <laughs> wah, oh, well, wah, all right, thank you. She yeah. got you. Uh, Wendell in Denver. Hey, what's up, man? Jude, you the dude, man. Thanks. Fox State is listening. Um, so check this out, man. I got nine kids, okay? Um, and I got four baby mamas. And I'm dating this woman, and I really love her. She's cool. She's really cool. But she does not think that I should be considering my exes as my friends. And I even consider one of them as one of my best friends. And she doesn't like that. And I don't think that it's worth losing her over. But I don't really want to cut them off either because they, they're good women, but they still, they they my baby mamas. You know what I mean? So what should I do, man? L lay it out for me, Jude. I find it amazing that, like, well, you, you have to have a relationship with your baby mamas. You're raising ch <sighs> children together. Like, I don't, you need to kind of sit your <laughs> girl down and be like, look, this is what you signed up for. Clearly, my pullout game is awful. I've got four baby mamas. So and, when, and well, nine fucking children. You know, that exact same thing. Yeah, like I got nine fucking kids, lady. Like, would it would? Maybe you can make a point to fucking uh, when you talk to your baby mamas, just to be talking about child shit, shit that okay. has to do with the kids. I think That's not like they exes or when they current is leaving out of town because he lives in Cali. I shouldn't know that information. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, look, man, like I would respect some I would respect I would respect her wishes to a certain degree, but then it's like, yo, dude, you have to deal with your baby mamas. You're right. You're right. I so just that, so dude. yeah, so just uh, you know, meet her halfway. That's true. See, I'm picking up what you're putting down, Jude. You right. dude, man. Yeah, man. Good luck. Sam man. Sam, man. Yeah, I'm here, bro. What's your problem? All right, here goes my problem. Um, I got a boy I've been tight with for about, like, well, we've known each other since childhood, since we were, like, since he was, like, five and I was, like, nine. And then, like, you know, we hooked up, like, again about, like, damn, like, 12 years ago. This is one of my bros now, you understand? Like, uh, you know, there's a little bit of family involved. You know, he's just my roadie. But, man, over the last, like, two years, man, 
like his uh his drug problem is like increased while myself you know i quit drinking like almost like a little, about 18 months ago then what's I quit, his drugs uh, what was he doing yeah he likes he likes doing blows man he likes doing coke and then like you know when he ain't got coke man he'd be hitting up the pipe man all right man so look it sounds like you guys have different interests yeah so yeah just, yeah that's so that's it well like i don't know that you're still my boy i mean like you know but you know, the only thing i've really done like uh kind of threaten them a little bit, you know what I'm saying, just because, you know, I don't want that shit around my family. And then, like, you know, like, hey, man, if you're going to be like that, you know, stay away from me and this and that. And then, you know, he was, the one time I asked him to do something for me, he was supposed to do, you know, he took my wife to the spot. I was like, what the fuck is you doing, man? And I was like, you know, the one thing I asked you not to do, you go and do. And he like, took your wife? Then, you know, kind of, well, she needed a ride from the hospital. I was out of town. I was like, hey, man, I was like, all you got to do is pick her up, take her home. And he stopped that. This motherfucker couldn't even stop from the hospital to the crib, he had to stop at the place, man, do, do his thing. Bro, I'll just go ahead and cut him off, man. Like, he clearly has doesn't have a ton of respect for you, you or your family, so, like... That's how I feel. So, go ahead, just go ahead and cut him off, man. Yep. All right, Jude. There it is. Glad to be on the show. All right. That was the easy one. All right, I'll take these calls off the air. 888-742-3345. What would you do? You're listening to the All Out Show with you. 888-742-3345. 888-742-3345. The number you can call. No one will answer, but uh, that is the number you can call. That was what would you do? I hope. I hope you got something out of it. I'm sure. I've. I've. I feel there's a small sense of uh, a reward in being able to help people out. Uh, if you want to follow the All Out Show, you can follow us at All Out Show on everything. Hey, if you want mixes and just updates, you can uh, type uh, 213-205-3747. That's my community. It's basically, I text you like links to shit every now and again. I don't do it that often. Uh but we do we do have playlists for mixes and stuff like that. Just type in pill mix. And we got you. And then if there's anything crazy that happens, I can send you that too. Also, uh on a somber note, well it's somber but it's uh our thoughts and prayers go out to Nina Nine. Uh she was She's hip hop nation and uh one of one of one of my favorite people at Sirius. And she was in an awful car accident and she's in the hospital and recovering, so uh just uh, I wish her a speedy recovery. If you follow her, hop on her hop on her page, give her a shout out, I'm sure that'll help help uh raise her spirits. And uh, it's a blessing that she lived. So, so there you go. Um, get well, Nina. We are thinking of you here at Shade 45. All right, let's play some music and come back with the news with John Z. Matthews. You're listening to the All Out Show with you. And now, it's time for News from the Chin with John Z. Matthews. Mail Magazine. They're going through a number of uh, slang words for female genitalia, just sort of female sexuality in general, and why they're sort of uh, kind of gross words, as they seem to think of it. I don't think they're gross. Well, they're talking about, like, words I haven't even heard of. Clunge, a moist I've never even heard of that word. Yeah. What the fuck does clunge mean? That's uh, vagina. Who the fuck uses that? I don't know. Clunge. Give me that clunge. It's it's in uh it's in Urban Dictionary. Whatever. I how many know. fucking how many uh votes does it have? Uh looks like sixty two. Uh yeah. <laughs> They're fucking scraping the barrel, dude. Clunge. Clunge. Alright, give me another one. Uh, let's see. Uh I mean of course the the, the standard ones of cunt, which no one really uses. I mean, Cunt comes from fecund. Ah. Which means a uh, fertile place. 
so it's actually it's, it's actually something good that has been bastardized i mean you really can't even use that word except i do if you're but, describing somebody not so much hey that's a great cunt give me that cunt i mean you, 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 I, you, I you never even you've never like, said that i never even knew that was like an upsetting word where i'm from it wasn't like people didn't use cunt well, then, they're like you can't say that word I'm like really all right well, I'm a little fuzzy on what's appropriate, to be honest. I mean, do you ever see, like, that's a great pussy when you're with a lady? Or, yeah. Do you like, really? Yeah, you, you got some good pussy. Oh, okay. What I don't say, that's a great pussy between those legs of yours. Great gash. Check out that fucking gash. <laughs> what about tits? Is that, uh, is that cool? How is that? Like, what's wrong with these words? Uh, I mean, I guess, again, you know, you think of the, the author here. Um, so she's looking at this from uh, a point of view. I think she's sexually repressed. And deep down, not in touch with her own sexuality. Dominique Sisley. Yeah, she, yeah. No, she's yeah. got nice bangs. Sure, she's great in bed. Well, she writes a lot about sex, according to her. <laughs> <laughs> if the word tits bums her out, dude, like for real, like, all right. I'm sure she's fucking great at parties. C can't wait to invite her over. All right. What else? What else bums her out? Well, I mean, she does point out that the the male terms are somewhat exciting and fun, like dick and cock and cunt, cunt. cock. Cunt. It's the same fucking. It's the same hard C with a fucking hard ending. Instead of a k, it's a t. They're kind of similar, dude. Well, she also makes why is one super fucking offensive and the other one's not? And the other thing too is like, I don't know. I, a lot of that shit is like, uh, I feel like it's um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's it's um, different groups of people use that shit, like. I don't think I've ever fucked a chick that's like, you got a great cock. You know what I mean? Never. <laughs> I wouldn't mind it, I guess. I feel like I feel like this for like some forty-seven-year-old white lady that works at a biker bar or some shit. I'm like, yeah, it's a nice cock. Most chicks just say dick. Dick. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I had some lady use cock once. I was like, oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Was she a sailor? <laughs> <laughs> but she also makes the distinction here about uh, sort of blowjob versus being eaten out. I guess eaten out is not as hot as uh, a blowjob. Oh well, you know, she thinks about this shit. <laughs> this, this is just a woman complaining, dude. Man, the word count on this article is long. She spent a lot of time on this. Dude, she <laughs> went to school. This bitch went to school. Just so she can complain on fucking social media on some fucking website. Where'd you get this from? Mel Magazine. Mail? Mel, M E L. Oh. It's a female wellness kind of place. Okay. So. Tell ladies what they should be upset about. Mm. I think it just goes. I think men are like. I think it just speaks to like the conditioning. Like men are. There's not as much shame attached to sex for men as there is for women. And it's coming out in the way she's like, all of these words have negative connotations to her. Well, she would argue. But it's not the word, but it's the shame attached to it. Well, it's her argument. Well, I mean, she would argue that society in general, uh, there's a bit of a revulsion around uh, female sexuality. So uh, I, I agree with that. Yeah. Vaginas turn into twats, minges, gashes, axe wounds. An axe wound. I mean, come on, man. <laughs> Who the fuck wound. says that shit? Even Gash. Like, it's when just, cats are saying that, they're fucking just talking shit. Yeah, that sounds Shakespearean. You twat. An axe wound. Most cats I know just say pussy, dog. Yeah. But you'd have to be in the moment like, to say that. You how, mean, many, how many people have called up and be like, yeah, I got some Gash? <laughs> Never. Over fucking the last... 15 years. You know what I mean? Give me a fucking break. Her gash was so damp. 
This lady's chasing ghosts. Yeah, well, if you want to check it out, find it through Mel Magazine. All right, so speaking of the women. Blowjob, much cooler than eating out. Like, I well, who knows? Eating out's nice. Everybody likes to go eat out. You know what I mean? You go, you go out to dinner and you eat out. It's like a fucking something nice to do. Blowjob is work. True. It's a job. to work. Yeah. It's a task, a chore. Exactly. But instead, you're eating out, you're having a nice meal. Yeah. But, I mean, do you even use that term? Going down on her? I'll be like, I went down on her. I ate her out. Right. I ate her pussy. Some shit. I don't know. I don't know. I think it was even on the show recently. I think eating out came up, and I think one of the callers kind of was taken aback by that. I was like, what? <laughs> you, you don't like that? Okay, fine. So be it. Plenty of other channels for yeah. you to fuck with. <laughs> eating out? Huh? Well, you won't, well, well you, your, where your ears won't be sullied with our fucking street talk. All right, what else? So there's a study... Uh, out talking about the fact that NFL teams with more women in the front office have fewer players arrested, and they've studied the numbers. And this what is are a, the like? What's what's the difference? Is it a big difference or a small difference? Uh, let's see. Having what they're calling a critical mass of women executives, uh, let's see, is associated with reducing player arrests of twenty one percent. That's pretty good. Fuck yeah. How's their record, though? Uh, that I don't know. In terms of how they're doing on the field. I mean... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they, they theorize that the relationship results from positive changes to the organizational culture and improved decision-making when two or more women serve top management's roles on the team. Which I can see. That could be. Come on. Or it could be, like, um, some guys may perhaps... Uh, there's certain certain football places value uh, winning over the character of a person, right? So they're willing to give somebody a trouble person a second chance. Well, it always sort of baffles on them. It always sort of baffles me when these weird things start to happen, and then uh, people in upper management sort of find a way to make it all go away. Like, man. You guys got some real problems there, but if you're just going to let that slide, okay. I guess the, yeah. the, the women are tampered down a little bit more aggressively. Yeah, that's Yeah, they're probably, they're probably like, yeah, they're probably uh, less risk averse. Don't want to gamble on somebody that has uh, like priors and shit like that. And that would lead to le less arrest. So there you go. Huh? I still want to see the win-loss record. <laughs> I'll uh, have to check their data. Because at the end of the day, like, unfortunately, uh, or for whatever, like, at the end of the day, people don't really give a fuck. They just want their team to win. They don't care who the fuck is playing. They're like, is my team winning? We going to the Super Bowl or not? Yeah, and of course it depends on the, the type of crime. If it's just like pot or, I don't yeah. know, unruly behavior in a bar somewhere, who cares? Or like, yeah, or domestic violence, and you're like, whoa, okay, no, yeah. can't do that. <laughs> do you think you'd survive an arrest? I mean, of course it would depend on... Survive an arrest? No, I'm just saying, I mean, I, I, I was arrested for DUI. I didn't get fired. Came close, but... Uh, oh, here, are serious? Yeah. Uh, I think that... I do apologize. It's just so grimy. You know what I mean? But I don't even like to think about that shit. Motherfucker, don't speak on that shit. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> fuck's wrong with you, man? I know. <laughs> We're not out there doing anything. But, uh, I'm just saying, just chill the fuck out. Right. Stop saying shit like that. But so if the NFL teams want to sort of clean their, their act up, put more women in the, in the front office. So. <sighs> Whatever, man. Do whatever y'all want. Do it. Do whatever you guys want. Now there's this uh, sex club which we've talked about in the past, Sanctum. Sanctum Sex Club. Mm. Yeah. But they have been sort of easing back into operation with these low-key, uh, yeah, uh, 
I guess they're, I mean, they, they are orgies, but they're just sort of, you know, sexual parties and shit like that. Now yeah. they've, they've got a new one coming up, uh, surrounding, uh, Halloween. Hey. So, and they're not really saying exactly the people are fucking, but they're saying, well, yes, I mean, they're sort of winking yeah, at you. Fucking. Of course they're fucking. They've cut the capacity to 30 guests. And the mm. weird thing, all the photos, and I don't know if this is just uh, the tabloids doing this, but all the photos look like that, that, uh, what is it, that movie Eyes Wide Shut. Everyone's wearing the fucking masks and everything. Oh, word. Oh, that's terrible. I, f I find that so unhot. Would you want to hang out and have sex with people wearing masks and... Are they wearing the COVID mask or are they wearing... No, no, no. Oh, just the little fucking... Thigh the... coverings and weird... Like strange pointy nose masks and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm not with all that weird shit. Yeah, why is that? <laughs> I'll see someone's face, man. I don't even like looking at porn when they do that. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like a masquerade party? Oh yeah, even like a gangbang where all the guys yeah. are wearing like hoodies or not, yeah, not hoodies, like, like German porn or some shit. Yeah, like, all these guys with weird fucking Zorro masks on. <laughs> I don't need to see Zorro railing this bitch. Like, takes me out, man. Giving it to her gash. Mm. Her minge. Her <laughs> minge. I never even heard of that word, bro. <laughs> now, I mean, there there have been people who've called up, and I've I've heard them invite you to orgies. I've even been invited to orgies not that I'm long not going ago. To a fucking orgy, nah. Yeah, I'll party you. I think part of you wants to go. No, I'm not having an orgy with listeners, man. I, like yeah. I need to have some. You know what I mean? Like. A bit of a buffer between me and the listeners. Yeah, so, I really, hadn't really thought about that part. <laughs> yeah. I don't need to see a listener's dick. I'm good, man. And I don't need them to be looking at my shit either. So we're fucking even. So they're like, fuck it, let's just go. Fuck it. Well, I mean, I've, I've heard women that we've had on, they they just assume you're into that. And I'll say, oh, uh, didn't know you were part of the lifestyle. That's what they call it. The orgy lifestyle. The lifestyle. <laughs> there was a listener that was like inviting me to some like high end one and shit. Didn't do like, it. With real good looking people and everything. Show me like. But I was like, nah. It was like super exclusive invite only. And I'm like, nah. I look really bad naked. I'm better one on one. Well, I'm always told you can just sort of like hang out, but I don't know how fun that would be. I'd feel kind of weird just like, oh, oh fuck, I'm going to do just hanging out, watching other people fuck. Just hanging home, jerk off. Go home and jerk off, lonely. That sounds awful, bro. Awful. Well, Not going to do it. If you're no in New sorry, York. No Bob. If you're in New York, look up Sanctum. They will uh, take care of you. It's a Black Death themed orgy. Black Death. <laughs> that sounds terrible, but... Thing. Well, they're playing off that COVID shit. They're like, all right, yeah, let's go Black Death. They're clearly not taking this serious enough. That much is true. Oh, well, they, they will have a doctor at the door. And, oh, uh, checking temps and all that shit? Correct. Oh, there you go. Look at that. So they're trying to do that. Safer right than thing. I thought. Yeah. So Vice has put together this guide of how to remove nudes from your phone. Okay. Which is not that involved, but maybe there's some steps you should take. Uh, and of course, if you have the watch thing going with your Apple phone, you should uh, unpair that from your iPhone, first of all. And okay. sign out of your Apple ID. And then they say, delete photos and apps individually. You got to go through each fucking one. And then there's some more steps you take, but then there's this factor reset. And then they're claiming that you should be good to go. What if you just factory reset? It doesn't do it? Well, again, they are just saying that you should go through these other steps. You should go through and delete photos and apps individually. One at a time. Correct. Delete. Which delete. sounds delete. like a gargantuan task. All that. right. Well, it depends on how many dick pics you've sent. Oh, that's absolutely true. But see, there are How many dick pics have you sent? Uh, me? Yeah, you. Personally? Yeah. Ah. Oh. I don't know, three. But to get those three, I probably had to take like 20 or 40 shots. 
<laughs> get things in the zone. <laughs> that one doesn't look right. <laughs> you got to shoot from the bottom up. Really? Yeah, think about like looking up at a tree. You know what I mean? Tree looks mad tall if you're like right next to the tree looking up at it. Ah, okay. That's how you that's how you do it. All right. For anybody out there trying to send a dick pic. Bam. I just fucking laced you. Camera angle, son. And they do warn for Androids when you're deleting, uh, you should go through the extra step of uploading more data to the phone so it overwrites the images and the videos you have on there so which is another step that you don't do with the iphone but you let, let you should just start downloading videos and other things to overwrite these things mm. so if you're really worried about it there you go fucking it's settled but again they're they're suggesting here that people do this before they sell their phone which i would never do who sells their phone i guess some people do but I don't know. I just feel like I got too much shit on there. I'd rather just break it. Oh, that's what I would do. Smash it. Yeah. Fuck, I'm going to sell my phone. Anybody in the market for an iPhone 6? Hey. Anybody want one? No? All right, well, fuck it. Yeah, this will get hit with a hammer when I'm done. Would you really do that? I would recommend it, but are you really going to do that? Just smash it up? Yeah. Huh? All that shit. All that shit. Like when my pop passed, we were just like, delete the browser history. Like just delete it. Delete it. No, we no 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 no. We we don't need to see that. You know what I mean? I don't need to see that shit. <laughs> I can't believe you guys even thought of that. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Got enough heavy shit going on, but uh, but my pop was crazy. He watched weird. He'd, he'd only watch girl porn. He'd only watch porn with girls in it. Only lesbian? Yep. Hmm. He didn't like penises in there. He thought it was gay. Yeah. So he like just watching girls strip. So I guess his porn wouldn't be too too weird, but like, yeah. He'd be like, this is fucking gay. I don't need to see some fucking dick. It's fucking gay, man. I'm like, all right. Well. <laughs> some people like to watch chicks get fucked. Other people just like them stripping. So there you go. There's something for everybody fucking gay have you ever thought about that uh i mean they do have services online where there is a plan in place so let's say uh if something terrible would happen to you which i hope doesn't happen then suddenly you have all these uh, online uh enterprises your your instagram your facebook what happens to those you can sign up and then suddenly bang suddenly your uh family member will get uh, your passwords and they'll take care of you i never even thought about that yeah but, uh, yeah Maybe I should. Otherwise, you will live on in your your zombie accounts. That'd be fucking annoying. <laughs> That'd be annoying as hell. But uh, I don't plan on dying anytime soon. So let's just fucking get that off the table. Right. What's up with you, man? Today? No, What's, up with you? What's, what's going on with you, man? Just uh, planning for the future. All right. Uh, I'm trying to. I, I like it. Well, and it, I'm already going through it, and you're just like, oh, "What if you fucking this happens? And what, what if that happens?" Well, this is better. I've got uh, this list of the best places to live in America in 2020, according to livability. Hey, give it, give me the top five. All right, and they're basing this on oh, job numbers, broadband access, uh, economic resilience, growth, safety, those kinds of things. So, number five. South Ro Carolina. Was uh, it where? Rochester, Minnesota. Rochester, Minnesota. Look at that. All right. Uh, they offer a warm, caring atmosphere for visitors, new residents alike. Nice okay. place. Minnesota. Portland, Maine. Maine? Man. You're that's just, fucking cold and desolate. Like, that's like, you're fucking. You're just giving up up there. Yeah, you're way the fuck up there. Gorgeous, though. You know where the word, you know where the, the name of the state came from? Nope. There's a bunch of islands in Maine. That was the mainland. It was a fishing fishing community. So there was a bunch of islands that they fished off, and Maine was the mainland. So they just called it Maine. Huh. Yeah. 
Wait. Not very creative, but there you go. Well, makes sense. Tidbit of, you can take that with you. Tell tell somebody at the bar while you're social distancing and having a drink. There you go. Boom. Madison, Wisconsin, number three. Madison, Wisconsin. It's a sports crazy college town, but also the state seat of state government. Well, who cares? But uh, apparently lots of millennials, recent grads, high employment rate. There it is. Who knew? All of these, like, Midwest and fucking out of, like, just out of the way places. All right, what's, what's uh, number two? Well, your state of Michigan, Ann Arbor. Ugh. What, what, is, what is Ann Arbor? It comes up now and again. What is that it's place? Like a, it's uh, where U of M is. Just like, sno- it's like, a, like the snobbiest part of Michigan. Is it expensive? Yeah, Kinda yeah looks- fairly. Okay. U of M is like a fucking one of real fancy schools. And rich kids go there, so the rent's a little higher. Yeah, so Ann Arbor. So. And finally, Fort Collins, Colorado. What makes that so good? Uh, it's set against the foothills of the Rocky Mountains, a Thank vibrant you. and growing city that's overflowing with opportunity. Look at that. Good for your family, the kids. Raise a family over there. Go over there, go skiing and shit. Yeah. Again, friendly. There it is. Welcoming. If you want to move, bounce around. There's some spots. Leave the city. Everyone's going. I know, dog. <laughs> the prices are just crazy right now. Like outside of like anywhere that's like outside of the city, the prices went are going ham. I'm, like looking at prices, like God damn it. Yeah, one of my DJ friends who's unemployed in Arizona, he wants to move out to LA. I was like, are you out of your fucking mind? Stay in Arizona, man. I can't be able to get cheap rent out in this bitch. Who the fuck knows? But yeah. Stay in AZ. Mm. Uh, Stay in AZ. All right, give me some good news, man. And now, time for good news. There is a lady who is getting some attention because she was taking her bar exam for her law degree and then gave birth and then continued to take the exam. Or, I mean, it's a little more complicated than that. Damn, uh, that's dope. But she was out of Illinois and her water broke. So she finished part of the exam, went to the hospital, dropped the kid, and then took the rest of the exam in the hospital. That's gangster. She passed? Uh, they don't know yet, but she seems kind of smart. She already has a job too. Brianna Hill, recent graduate of Loyola University School in Chicago. Loyola's good. Oh, yeah. That's dedication. I don't think I would have done that. But, I mean, her water break, she continues to take the exam. I'd like, you know, I'll hang on for Ew, a second. Yeah. Just a puddle. <laughs> <laughs> She's sitting in her own mess. Yeah. Just like C, D, D, <laughs> C. I'm sure she could get a doctor's note for this. I mean, but, okay. Hey. The thing is, is like... It's kind of it's kind of smart for her to do that shit because if she fails, she can be like, "Look, man, I was uh, yeah. let's not have this be a ding against me. I was having a baby." She might be able to get that, like you know that 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 might have been like a free shot. You know what I mean? Playing with playing with house money, smart move. Yeah. Now she's got all this attention. Well done, Brianna. She's gonna be a good lawyer. Brianna Hill. Thinking on her toes. All right, that's the news. You're listening to the All Out Show with you. All right, y'all, that was the show. I want to thank uh, Intern Jade. We have Keenan, associate producer, and producer is John Z. Matthews. My name is Jude Angelini. You can follow me at One More Jude or go to onemorejude.com just to see interviews and other shit like that. Also, there's All Out Show gear. You can grab for yourself, treat yourself with an all-out show T-shirt or a hummingbird or whatever the fuck you're into. All right, let's get it. We out this bitch. Talk to you tomorrow.